the Messiah version 1.3 packs have just been released. Are there any good? Well, let's take a look at them and resolve. With the official release of Resolve 16.1, time spent customizing VFX has been reduced even more. With 16.0, we got the adjustment clip allowing you to easily create and copy VFX between projects. Now with version 16.1 you can save those into your power bins and quickly access each one between projects. Now the new Messiah version 1.3 packs really exploits this feature but they take it a step further. They eliminate the need to have to use a different saved VFX for each frame rate. And so that's very powerful because now all of a sudden you don't have to think about is this the right frame rate? Am I matching it up accordingly? Is it going to have the right speed and so forth? And just like previous versions of the Messiah pack, it allows you to easily drag and drop those effects right onto your timeline. It also provides the ability to combine effects. You've got sound effects that are included and it allows for customization. So we're going to demonstrate some of these features here. I'm not going to go through how you actually add them into your power bin. There's a tutorial um, that's on the Messiah site that you can do. It's very easy to do. It's a one-time import of the project. But once you have it in your power bin, you can very quickly switch between or access this in any of your projects. So the first thing I want to highlight here is the title pack. So one of the things I really like about Maasai is it's got these nice, uh, easy to use titles that you can use for some of your, um, your videos. And so um, I do some corporate work, I also do some for, for certain travel agencies, and so these, these fit really well. Um, but you can see here some of the effects that they have with the uh, titles. So they actually provide you with 10 in this pack, and they've got some vertical titles as well as the horizontal ones. They also have this uh, shadow wipe effects. So these are kind of cool. Um, you can see how they transition between uh, different clips. Actually it has a different, a slightly different effect with that. The text transitions here also are pretty uh, nice because it allows you to switch between not only the text but also the clip at the same time. So it transitions uh, between both a clip and the text and they provide you with about 10 there also. White move, it adds a different dimension to some of your transitions. Some of these transitions can look kind of corny, but I, I think these are, are pretty well made and uh, they really can uh, highlight and make, make your video still look professional, uh, but with a little extra flair to it. They do include sound, so that's also a new feature with version 16.1 where you can actually save the sound effect into the power bin. So that's also very, um, very handy. But I really like the, the uh, glitch effects. So these glitch effects are really well done. Um, they're very simple to use, and obviously they come with several of the sound effects that match uh, exactly with those glitch effects. Let's look at an example here. If you look closely, it just wipes a shadow wipe from the corner uh, between two clips. What I want to do here is. Um, show you how I customize it. So you just select the clip and you have to have the the playhead over it. You go into Fusion. What I want to show you is how in this case you can see that it's the transitions kinda of slow and if I want to speed that up in order to say match with some music that I have or something we can easily do that. So you click Spline and I'm gonna come in here and make sure all the boxes are checked. So you just check all the boxes right there I'm going to expand this out. I'm going to uh, zoom in so that I can see everything here. I'm going to click here and control A so that I select everything. And then you go down here to time stretch. And I can either adjust it from the end or I can adjust it at the beginning. But in either case, as long as I'm bringing these two together, it's going to speed it up. And so if I play this back and I go through this real quick, you can see that it transitions much faster. 
okay so that's all you have to do there I'm just gonna undo that because I already had it set so really like I said this is really just drag and drop in certain cases you can actually layer these and combine the effects and so I did something here where I actually have not faded out this title divide effect before I started the wipe effect and so it kinda makes a little extra um, you know a little extra flair to uh, your your video uh, if you combine the right effects together so Messiah is one of the first um, producers of these uh, packs for resolve and they really continue to innovate I've really been impressed with them and I uh, really like the pack so if you want to check it out I'll leave a link below and I'll also leave a discount code and I'll see you in the next one peace